During the pandemic, isolation and loneliness of senior citizens increased drastically. In response to this challenge, the 9th and 10th graders of the Beit Midrash spent a few months this winter focusing on the initiative of Mipnei Seva Takum, honoring our elders. While we could not visit in person, we nevertheless met the challenge and the need to offer friendship, connection, and care. Our focus was on the values of kavod, honor, and chesed, loving kindness. We studied Jewish sources that guided us to recognize and celebrate different kinds of wisdom in our elders, learned wisdom and life wisdom. Maria, you taught me about persistence and following one's passion. You're such an inspiration to me, and I'm so grateful I was able to hear your story. Edith, you said that it is up to us to change the laws and to make the world a safer place. So thank you for making me feel like I have something to live up to, and I will always try and fulfill this task that you have opened my eyes to. Hadassah, I took the lesson of enjoying the moment from you. I have to apply all that you have taught me and live a better life because of it. Warner, you base your whole life on Judaism and genealogy despite all the anti-Semitism you have faced. This taught me not to shy away from my ancestors' stories and instead learn from them and get inspired from them. Richard, one great lesson I learned from you is to look on the bright side of things. I am grateful you have taught me this and will always keep this attitude in mind. Mary Ann, when you told us about your fall, we were worried. But then you said you were fine and took it as a learning experience to practice standing back up completely on your own. You taught me that it is important to dust yourself off, get back up, and resume your daily routine even after experiencing a setback. You taught me that when making friends, you want to make sure they are good people that will stick with you whenever you need them. I will always think of you when I have the opportunity to make new friends. Thank you. Linda, something you taught me is to value the time we have so close to one another and while we were all on the same path. Another thing you taught me is how quickly you can make a connection with someone. Hillary, throughout our time together, you taught me how being grateful for things is a vital aspect of life. Each week, you would make us write down a gratitude list, which we would then share with each other. This taught me to stop and think about all the things that we do have. You said the Torah is like a mirror, a guide, where our perspective changes every time we read it as we learn new things. It's the same reason you like camping and being in nature. You don't have much in the way of material possessions. Instead, when you just have everything you need, nothing more, enjoying the world that God created, you realize what truly matters. Bernice, you told me how even when you were facing people who are cruel and situations that were not favorable, you just had to carry yourself with, in a decent and honorable way. You've always remained optimistic, never speaking a bad word about anybody. I would love to be able to emulate your honor and dignity. I got to speak with elderly seniors and connect with them from our daily lives to the little things we believe in. And I felt a feeling of love and hope for my future as I heard their stories and reflected on them. I felt a connection to my religion and spiritually connected to their stories as well. I felt like this experience gave me a time to educate myself on the reality of being an elderly and what experiences they have and I felt so amazing to even have had this opportunity.